everybody. Happy Thursday. Are you having a good week? I am here to share a brand new book with you and I have been waiting for it. It is Una and the Shark and this is the follow-up to Una which was I think I read it to you probably in May. It's written by Kelly DiPuccio and it's published by HarperCollins and we want to thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So let's find out what our favorite mermaid is up to now. So, are you ready? Let's get started. You ready? Everyone's ready to hear the story? Una and the shark. Like most mermaids, Una was good at making friends. Are you good at making friends? Otto was her friends. The pelicans were her friends. Even the hermit crabs who weren't exactly friendly, were her friends. Does anyone have hermit crabs out there? They can be a little grouchy. So when Una met Stanley, she hoped he would be her friend too. She insisted on sharing some of her favorite treasures with the shark, but Stanley was particular. He didn't care for the hat or the horn and definitely not the squeaky, squeaky unicorn. He didn't like any of those things. Una was an inventor. And like most inventors, she was eager to show off her latest creations to her friends. The beach ball juggler, the sandcastle maker, the seahorse carousel. Did those sound like good inventions? Yeah. Hmm. What could you invent? But even though they sound good, but Stanley was too busy with his seashell collection to pay her any mind. Stanley's not impressed. He just wants his seashells. That just confused Una and made her more determined to impress the shark. So she built new inventions, bigger, bolder, louder inventions. Uh-oh, what do you think she's gonna, what do you think she's gonna do? Una built inventions that hopped, inventions that chopped, and inventions that, what are they gonna do? They hop, they chop, they popped! But all that noisy hopping and chopping and popping just made Stanley angry. By and large, mermaids are stubborn and Una was no exception. So what she did next was exactly what any other mermaid would have done under the circumstances. What's she gonna do? What do you think? She threw a party. Who doesn't love a party? So you see all these people, you see all these animals, all these sea creatures having a party? Who's over here not enjoying the party? Do you see that? That's Stanley. I don't think he liked the party. Stanley, that's who doesn't love a party. See, he was right. Understandably, Una's feelings were hurt, but Una knew as mermaids do that she was magical. And if Stanley didn't want to be her friend, she would still be magical. Una dove off a rock and swam to the bottom of the ocean floor. It was peaceful and quiet down there with the jellyfish and the sea turtles. Okay, who likes the quiet versus the crazy party and loud noises? It was peaceful and quiet. Yes, of course. Why hadn't she figured it out sooner? The horn, the inventions, the party. Stanley didn't like noise or distractions or crowded bouncy castles. Something twinkled in the sand catching Una's eye. Sea glass, it gave her an idea. Una returned to her workshop. She grew up, drew up plans with Otto. She took measurements with the eels and she gathered tools and supplies from her land friends. By the light of the lantern fish, Una worked late into the night. Do you see her taking measurements? Do you see her taking the measurements with, with her eel friends? That's crazy, isn't it? That's pretty, actually, that's pretty inventive. 
the Hydro Power Super Glass, the Hydro Power Super C Glass Sorter was whisper quiet and it was magnificent. Una set up her brand new invention near Stanley's Cove and without saying a word, she began feeding the machine. Each piece of sea glass she sent down the conveyor belt tumbled through a series of long tubes and curvy chutes before dropping into the correct jar. Blue, blue, white, white, green, green. That's pretty inventive, what do you think? And it was quiet. The curious shark watched from a safe distance. Blue, white, green. Stanley swam a little closer to get a better look. Blue, white, green. Soon, the shark, who had been so hard to reach, was by Una's side. Oh, he likes it. Would you like to help, Una asked Stanley. Stanley nodded. Blue, white, green. Una smiled, and Stanley smiled back. The two of them played side by side. They were quiet together. And together, they had fun. The end. So what did you think about this story? Do you like the quiet? Do you like to play quietly? Or do you like to have loud fun? Guess what? Ben likes when it's quiet. And Murphy over here, he's apparently enjoying being noisy while I read the story. Let me know your thoughts on our Instagram page. You know I love hearing from you. I will be back next week with two brand new stories that I can't wait to share with you. So until then, I hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye for now.